bitch. You thought I was joking? We out here doing promo. Q, tell me we're doing promo. Promo, bitch. Promo, bitch. Tell him, Q. Promo, bitch. Promo, bitch. Tell him again, Q. You know what we're doing. Ah, but you tell him. It's better when I you mean, tell him. How many times I got to tell him? Promo, bitch. <laughs> you wouldn't last one day out here. I'm the law. Be afraid. <laughs> This ain't no damn video game. No. It's probably still drivable though because it happened in the back. You can't drive it now. Well, congratulations on the film. We're so happy to see you here in Dallas for the ride along. And uh, you guys had some interesting experience here. You get to learn to line dance, you yes, get cowboy hats, cowboy yes, boots. A little different, right? Uh, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, you know, I like my boots. I you love like my boots? boots. What were they called? Boots. Cowboy boots. What, what kind of cowboy boots? See, you didn't embrace My the cowboy boots. No, no. Well, you guys get to go all around for this. Uh, and what do you get? You get to do something different in every town, right? Yeah. Something that's themed to, to each town. Basically, so. to riding along, man. We, uh, yeah. we come to these cities and we're riding along with people and embracing the culture and doing what you guys do and having a ball doing it. Up first, of course, was Dallas. And uh, we embraced that Dallas, Texas spirit, man. Got a little cowboy in us today. Yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you guys look like you, you have a great rapport and you've had a lot of fun on this tour, but you, you had a lot of fun making this movie. Do you think there's a moment that you'll always remember from the set, something that'll stick out years from now when people ask you about he this movie? He has lots of memory, lots of memorable moments, because I think I gave you a lot of memorable moments. <laughs> yeah, he gave me a lot of memorable moments. Yeah. I love going home from the set every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just the most, you know, uh, <laughs> elation I felt, you know. Uh, other than that, you talking about in the movie? Yeah. Oh, in the movie. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm feeling, uh, you know, the strip club scene was dope. Warehouse was dope. fun, you know what I mean? It, it's just throughout the day. whole movie. Even driving through day. the car, you know, was was real fun with us in the car, you know. I'm, I'm, Basically I'm what he's saying me. is the whole movie was nothing but memorable. You know, don't tell uh, me what I'm saying. That's what man. you were saying. You just didn't. You just didn't. You didn't want to say it. No I'm words in my mouth. I'm not putting man. words in your mouth. This I'm is the a, best movie of the year. I was gonna say you said that. I was gonna huh? say that that's what you was gonna say, and then you said it. I was about to say, yo, he's about to say it's the best movie. The year. best movie of the year, See? even though it's only been a few days, few days in the year. It's the best movie of the year. It's actually been six days. Yeah. In the year, which means that it's enough days for us to say this is gonna be the best movie of the year. See what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it is the best movie. It's year. gonna be. Cause they haven't seen Next it. question. You see what I got to deal with? <laughs> I'm trying to. I see it. It's just an attitude. <laughs> Not stop attitude. Right? Well, we we've been asking people for the Drew Pearson show. Drew famously caught the Hail Mary pass, and we're we're asking people their Hail Mary moments in their life. Uh, something that, you know, that you'll uh, where you just had to go for it and it worked oh. out for you. Oh man. Hail Mary moment. Um, I guess when I when I left in WA, you know, uh, I guess that was like, Huge. you know, it was a big risk. Uh, <laughs> if that play didn't work, uh, you know, I'd be selling groceries somewhere. That's huge, yo. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, I, I feel like, like that's my Hail Mary. That's why I went for it and uh, caught it, and, you know, and I, I did my Billy White Shoes Johnson in the end zone. It's a hell of a thing, though, to go for a Hail Mary moment and drop the ball, ain't it? That's yeah, yeah. I'm wide open. My moment, what was my moment, man? I'm going to have to go when I quit. When I quit selling sneakers at City Sports of Philadelphia, uh, I, actually dropped, I actually dropped the ball on this though. I quit uh, selling sneakers because I was winning the amateur nights at this comedy club. Was it a good quit or was it a weak it was quit? A, no, I went in with the, with the attitude of making the scene and wound up asking my boss to talk to me in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Explain to him, I want to follow my dream. And I feel like this is an opportunity for me to pursue my career in a different way. So I'm asking to understand why I'm not coming back. But then I backpedal. But if you want me to finish out the week, I can. <laughs> that's, that's not a good one. I didn't quit. You're supposed to take two weeks off for vacation and then quit. And then quit. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have the balls. I didn't have the balls. Oh, I said, yeah, but if you want me to finish out the week, I will. It doesn't matter. But after that, if I could just fully stay away and uh, pursue my dream. I was like, you know what, Kevin? We love you here. You've been good to us. Just go. And nah, I went. I ain't how it went. No, swear to God. They listen. said, said we've seen that comedy thing, Kevin. Listen to me. we seen that comedy <laughs> thing, Kevin. Listen, Trust you me, man. You want to stay here, man. You might be assistant manager, <laughs> they, man. They all came. They all came to like my next amateur night, right? And I won. And I went back the next week and they stopped the competitions. But that's where my money was coming from. I, I won too. <laughs> <laughs> 
they stopped the competition. So you had to come back to work. I was ass out. I was like, hey man, so with uh Sundays, y'all need me, I can come in on Sundays. I quit for no reason. Drop the ball. I dropped the ball. I was good. Well the last thing I want to ask you is your, your show pitch moment, the moment that you knew that you were discovered. Um when Dre asked me, yo, you want to rap at this club I'm DJing at? I'm like, I'm discovered. You know, and Dr. Dre asked you to rap somewhere, you discovered. That's dope. So, that's, dope. so that, that's my moment of discovery. Uh, my moment, man, when I got, uh, I got embraced, endorsed, embraced by the, uh, by the comedic forefathers. You know, I didn't get a chance to meet Richard Pryor, of course, but I had a run in. It was in like a two week span where things was going good for me. And... Uh, Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, the kings of comedy. This is when Bernie Mac was alive, rest in peace. Literally within a, a two week span, these guys had talked to me and reached out in some kind of way. Yeah. I had dealt with all of them in a conversation. Everybody kind of put a stamp on, you're doing the right thing, man. Hey brother, we going out for you. Jamie Foxx, hey man, we see what you're doing out here. But it was all love. It was no jealousy, it was no, yeah. you know, no side eyes. It was a bunch of pats on the back. So for me, that was definitely my moment where I said, this, this might be it for me. I, I think I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Well, congratulations to both of you and uh, congrats on the film. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.